right guys so i'm a little disappointed right now um we're in the process of our transfer and i am in a more appointment i'm doing blood work and ultrasound and the follicle is growing a little bit slow um than they expected it to be but she said that she doesn't see a problem my uterus still looks good and the lining looks okay so i just have mixed emotions about everything that's happening <laughs> Um, it's really hard because I'm scared that they're gonna cancel my cycle. We'll see guys. We'll see what happens Thank you so much for staying tuned in this crazy journey um, I'm a little emotional right now guys because I just hope that everything goes the way I'm hoping it goes, you know Hi guys, I just wanted to come in here and keep you guys updated earlier today I went to my doctor. They did an ultrasound and blood work and I it was like mixed emotions good news and bad news So I wasn't sure what to expect what the doctor was gonna say what kind of protocol he was gonna have after this Like depending on my results, but basically my follicle wasn't growing as quickly as they wanted them to it seems like my blood work is still doing really well and my lining is doing really well my uterus is where it should be like exactly how it should look which is great um and i just got the word the doctor email he said i'm just so nervous guys this is such a emotional process and there's just so many emotions like coming to me right now we are going to be transferring in about five or six days and like i don't know how to feel like i feel scared I feel happy, I feel excited. I'm just hoping that it like it works out, you know? I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to like contain myself. Um, I just wanted to update you guys. So thank you so much for being here through all of this, through this journey, um, this emotional roller coaster, guys. You're gonna hear me say that a lot because there's so many ups and downs. There's so much like happiness, but there's so much sadness and news that happen and okay i'm done venting guys i'll keep you guys posted i have another one more update appointment and then we'll do our transfer transfer means that our embryo our healthy beautiful embryo that made it to day six will be transferred inside of me oh my god <sighs> this is so crazy guys guys there's so many emotions happening like this is it i am in the process of my medication right before we transfer our beautiful little baby and yeah guys i'm so excited to share this with you all although it is a crazy journey it is still a beautiful thing so i hope that this all happens guys okay guys we are on our way to a follow-up appointment this is the blood work that will determine when our transfer will happen we are super excited and nervous and anxious and everything that you can possibly feel <laughs> Guys, so as you can tell, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Gonna walk with the family after my appointment. We just did blood work today. Transfer surgery will be on Wednesday, but we will find out tonight the results of my blood work. Share with you guys all of the bloating I have and all the discomfort. It is. It's like it literally hurts my belly. Dude, that's all I have for now. So thank you guys for watching. Hi guys. We are one day to transfer and I just got my period and I am cranky and I have cramps and I am just not in the mood. Things that we are completely dreading is because of this whole COVID-19 thing. Nobody can be in the room with Casey for the transfer. And then we also have Gray. And then, guys, I don't drive. So... So for now, the most I can do is just be excited, be prepared for, um, you know, when, when she is home, that she is calm and stressless, stress-free. Be ready. Um, and then the two week wait. I'm just here having my nighttime tea and I cannot believe tomorrow's the day. Like, <sighs> this is it.
the moment we have been waiting for. It is transfer day in the middle of a pandemic and we still made the decision to transfer our, our beautiful embryo. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm a little nervous just because Maria is gonna be waiting in the car because no one is allowed in the room because of all this that's going on in the world. But it's okay, she's waiting for me downstairs with Gray and fingers crossed that things work out. Gray and I are in the car and I'm trying to keep Gray entertained, so this is my life at the moment while we wait and wait and wait and wait and we're super excited and we will see how everything goes. just finished transfer oh my god it feels so surreal <laughs> 